There's two or three limitations of secondary data. By far the most important one is you don't have control over the questions that have been asked. And oftentimes the question that's been asked is not quite the question you really wanted to ask. And you have to be fairly disciplined in accepting that uh, it's important to have a clear idea of what the variables in a secondary data set measure and the distance between that measure and what you might ideally have liked them to be measuring. And it's, it's tempting to pretend that they're really measuring what you want them to measure rather than what they actually do measure. So that's, that's one drawback. Um, a second drawback is uh, it's quite time consuming to organize secondary data analysis in that before uh, you get into the analysis, you have to have a good knowledge of the documentation that comes with the, the data set. You need to be sure that you understand how the sampling was organized. You need to be sure that you understand how the different variables in the data set were defined and created, uh, what was done with missing values, what was done with don't knows, what was done with the routing of questions to different types of respondent in the survey. And quite often it takes quite a bit of time to get your head around all those details, but they're important details to understand because they're fundamental to interpreting the results of any secondary data analysis that you undertake on that data set.